Hey guys, Dylan from Noble Records coming at you with another video. So today I was so excited to, I uh, was at the shop and got a shipment in and it was the new Alice in Chains Dirt 30th Anniversary reissue. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video. A lot of people would ask me about it. I posted on Instagram kind of a picture of, you know, what we're getting and just said, hey, we're putting them out Friday, come get them type thing. Uh, we got, you know, I think we got like, 20 copies so uh you know a few we're not a huge store but we get you know we get some so anyways uh but i was anxious to get home and listen to it because i just recently got an original press of uh dirt if you watch my videos you know a couple months ago i went through a huge grunge bender and tracked down a bunch of grunge stuff that i've always wanted uh that was one that was eluding me you know i had a uh, facelift i had um self-titled uh that was that was the only one i was missing so uh anyway so i finally tracked one down got a really good price on it but from what my um research told me is this was the uk press this was basically the one to get the best copy to get because there's like there, there wasn't a u.s press of it but there was like some south american pressings or something so anyways that that one's from what i heard the best one to get i brought it home listened to it and just Eh, doesn't sound that great. So I was kind of uh, excited to get this one out. I don't have the MOV press. Um, I've never heard it. I've heard that it sounds pretty good. But this is just, I was just going to tell you kind of what I thought when I dropped the needle on this. I'll do just kind of a brief unboxing. Uh, it comes in these, this is just the regular black vinyl edition. It comes in these black uh, paper sleeves. Real thick, I guess it's 180 gram. Feel, feels 180. Uh, they were completely flat, no blemishes, no problems, no quality control issues. H has this sticker, um, remastered original audio featuring hit singles, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, then it comes with an inner that is pretty much the same as the original press. So I'll show you the original press here in a minute, just to kind of show you the differences other than, you know, the consistency. But um, putting it on, I was like, wow, that really jumps out. It's really bright, real punchy. Um, it's a lot louder of a pressing than the original was. You know, things with, uh, like 90s records, grunge records is that they were, they were pressed in the 90s. A lot of the source audio was digital. Um, and it was a lot of the times, I mean, and I'm not sure, you know, I'm just speculating, but, uh, a lot of the stuff wasn't really mastered really well for vinyl because there wasn't they weren't putting much of it out. So um, it's not if you're an audiophile, original '90s pressings is something you don't probably even care about. Part of it is just the record collector in me, and part of it is just um, I don't know to have the artifact. You know what I mean? So uh, the original press has the the original. I guess it's the European press has this uh, sticker it says featuring them bones uh, angry chair wood and uh anyway so that's you know it's real thin if you know 90s pressings you know that how the jackets feel it's just unmistakable and easy to identify um and then you know this is the inner so it's uh it's actually an inner sleeve the one in the reissue is not an inner sleeve but it's exactly the same uh, other than that, so uh, the one in the reissue is just a piece of paper, so it's not an inner sleeve, but it's just a lot higher quality. I mean, the reissue is a lot higher quality, you know. Uh, the original is going to set you back a few of them bones, you know what I mean? But uh, a, little, a little Alice in Chains humor for you. But real thick, heavy jacket, you know, heavy vinyl. It's, a du it's double LP instead of everything being crammed on one LP. So anyways... I have, you know, my review is favorable. I think it sounds great. Uh, I was really impressed um, with the way it came out. And uh, yeah, I'm, I encourage you guys to buy one if you don't have one. You may have the, the music on vinyl pressing and be perfectly happy with it. I wish I had that with me so I could kind of AB them, uh, but I don't. But just from, I knew that this one would probably be better than the original just because 90s records kind of have that reputation of not being that great. But yeah, I was I was really impressed. It sounds really good. Um, it's a lot louder. I mean, I left the volume the same, everything the same, and I listened to Them Bones, 
the first track all the way through. And then I took that off and immediately put the original press on. And it was like half the volume. It was crazy. Um, but beyond that, it just like the original pressing sounds really flat, really dead. Um, and then this one is just, uh, it's, it's a lot thicker, you know, beefier sound, really good stuff. But, um, yeah, I love it. And this album, oh my gosh, just, what an incredible record. Um, and you know, if you didn't know, <laughs> music on vinyl pressings were going for like 200 bucks. So it's about time there was a good reissue of it, but yeah. Excellent one to pick up if you are wanting it. I do not think that you will be disappointed. Support your local record store. And if they don't have it, go to Walmart because I think Walmart's going to have them. So should be widely available. Shouldn't have any problem getting a copy, but we'll see. Thank you all for watching. Hope this helped you. See you guys next time.